follow any broken laws or false laws, even if the government creates them. Never follow any broken criminal people. Never allow them in your lives. Uh, never, never adhere to any fake religion. Never adhere to any uh, alien magic or never, never uh, assume that uh, anyone should ever have power over you no matter what or who you are because honestly you know if you're a criminal you'll you'll get what you deserve and uh however you know criminals are criminals criminals are pretty well pretty well everywhere now and honestly you have to attack them in order to get rid of the fact that they're trying to violate you especially in the slums or living in these crappy urban communities all over the world. The poverty everywhere. Uh, this all the world is is just disgusting anymore. I mean, people have to really get with program. At some point, I don't think it'll ever happen. I'm pretty sure the world's pretty well doomed. There's not a chance that the world is ever going to make sense. Uh, the laws are false, especially in America. The federal law is totally invasive. It allows people to commit crimes against you. It allows people to violate your constitutional rights. And nah, I don't agree with none of that. America doesn't even represent. It won't, you know, it discriminates against who has the right to use the court system. The attorneys just suddenly commit fraud all over their place. None of them are trained very well. I mean, America's court system, it's a joke, honestly, it is. The cops are a joke, the judges are a joke, the Supreme Court's a joke, the government's a joke, the president's a joke. You may as well say the media's a joke. Murder is constant everywhere, all day, every day. The world is constantly pissed. The world is a crime every day. Somebody's always committing a crime. They're always changing your your chemistry, your food, they're lying to you at the doctor's office. I mean, everything that's going on in America is nothing but a, an entire scam, a giant massive amount of fraud. Man, it does not, it is not cool to live in this country. I mean, there are tons of gays and transgenders and all that, and they think that they can molest you with demons and magic and then they got these people out here trying to act like dictators and they're, they're fresh out of a four year school and they got no no intelligence whatsoever. It's like, nah, you hate my dictator, you joke. Nah, you, you just need to get the hell on down the road, honestly. Nah, I know what the federal law is. I know what real rights are. I know what the first 20 bill of rights are and you're not going to obstruct anything in my life and you don't have permission to be in my life that's an invasion of privacy if I don't want you in my life you're not entitled to anything about my life I don't care about who you are what you say or what you do you don't mean crap because you never you never had any ideas or any business or any reality that you could ever enforce or call true or anything honestly what does it serve anyone to be associated with another person who basically can't accomplish anything? It's more of a problem than anything. I mean, honestly, this day and age, you should probably most likely be totally antisocial, lock up your house really tight, get as much security as you can, stock up on stuff, get all of the legal things that you can get, weapons and everything, Honestly, protect yourself from this world because it's nothing but really criminal anymore. That's all that it is. People are disgusting with crime. They're so filthy, crappy, disgusting. All they do is commit crimes and rape people and have sex everywhere and bounce from one person. And this is all disgusting. You should never do this stuff. I mean, you know, you might meet, meet a few women in your life, bounce through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten relationships over the course of like 40 years. It shouldn't go any further than that. If you can't keep a relationship after about your 10th girlfriend, 
you may as well say, I don't want no more girlfriends. Screw the girlfriends, because apparently there's not, there's not a single woman in the world that has any intelligence. You don't need that. It doesn't matter. They're just not worth it. Just, and honestly, if you read the Holy Bible, King James Holy Bible, you'll learn a lot about uh, what it means to be celibate and how to stay away from people and just... You learn about the, the laws of life, you know, there's just a lot that goes in the law. You need to avoid people. They're just criminals. They're no good. Stay away from them. They're satanic. They don't care about life. They, you know, I'm not saying the Holy Bible is the answer. Uh, I'm saying that the law is the answer. And if you don't know that, you're no good. If you honestly can't commit to understanding the law and that you're invading somebody's privacy or harassing them, or you're criminalizing someone, harming them with illegal science or drugs, or physics, chemistry, or biology, or if you're creating this fictitious world uh, in, in a business regime that isn't real, like some of these um, institutions that are fictitious with the sciences that they create, and then it, there's tons of fraud all over the world, especially in the United States. You don't want to even attempt to mess with a doctor in most cases. However, there might be like 10% of the time you might actually have to have a doctor. But other than that, I would not I would never trust a doctor, never trust a lawyer, never trust a judge, never trust a cop, never trust anyone. Screw trusting people. They suck. They honestly can never tell you the truth. And even if they did, they would tell you something that was half-assed idiotic, idiotic. I mean, really, honestly, at some point, you got to realize the world is practically just stupid. I mean, there are some, several people in the world that can compete with, with science and physics and all that. It's nothing more than geometrical vectors at best. Okay, this is what it all comes down to. Everything in the law is nothing more than a geometrical vector or a geometrical matrix with vectors. I mean, that's what it all comes down to. So it can get any greater than that. Now, other than language and competing with what it takes to create the geometrical vectors, that's another story. But there's also a very bad problem with the quantum world and people and their crimes that they commit. And, I mean, it's even demonic nowadays. I mean, you can be sitting on your couch and get molested by a demon nowadays. I mean, it's pretty disgusting what people are doing. It might even be because of aliens, or we don't know what it is, but it's the most disgusting thing ever, whether we're in the Matrix or what it, whatever. What is reality? What is anything? Honestly, um, there's a lot to that. You know, the Matrix comes down to the octo bit, and uh, the Matrix and science and reality and what we know about it, it's pretty hard to measure and figure out. It takes a long time to invest your life into figuring out reality and figuring out physics and seeing all of what's wrong with the world and everything that's totally wrong and criminal. And this whole religious thing, it's all alien. Never never believe there's a God, trust me. There's no God. Go with law. Don't go with God. There's no God. God is nothing but an evil alien. He's not welcomed in your life. Tell us some bitch to go away. He's a criminal devil alien. He's born of magic, hate, sin, evil. He's just nothing but a criminal alien. Okay, there are plenty of criminal people that are even worse than criminal aliens might be better off with the aliens than you are the stupid people. Uh, but anyway, really, it's, just trust me, the, this is, this is the answer to my law. I mean, honestly, geometrical vectors and uh, understanding criminal law and what causes harm and that there are a slew of things that could cause harm. Just get away from people. They're so stupid and disgusting. They're so thoughtless. They only care about themselves. They only want what they want. They don't care about you. These people are so disgusting nowadays. Honestly, they're not even slightly worth even wasting a single penny on them. 
mean, no, get away from them and their garbage. They just want to lie to you. I mean, the Christian Bible says a liar is a thief, and a thief is a liar, and that is Satan. Never trust anybody who's constantly doing negative things to you, or even sending out negative signals, or honestly, yeah, we're into things, you know, the world has negativity, but, you know, when, you, when you're treating another person with something, communicating with them, or whatever, honestly, to be negative, that's not what you want in, in this kind of world, you don't want any negativity at all, not, not really, but however, if your knowledge in your life and your ideas are not right, that's negativity, honestly, you have to know that what you're saying and what you're doing, what you believe in is correct, honestly, I would say the best answer to that should be geometrical vectors and or, you know, discovering the difference between reality and uh, particles and atomic matter and five laws of the universe. Um, other than that, you really can't do anything else. Uh, there are, there's an infinite five laws of the universe of these geometrical vectors and its volume, the division of particles, magnetism um, basically motion and um, empty space um, and this all is like geometrical vectors you gotta do a lot of research to learn all this information none of it is real if um, the matrix exists so knowing the difference is basically hacking the matrix and anything that is uh, spiritual or magical or alien or anything like that you should never never have that stuff around you or let it allow it to be in your life you should never coexist as a spiritual entity or an alien trying to you know pertain to things that are beyond the concepts of normal physics is anything that's evil is going to defy the, the laws of your body first of all once it once something defies the, the laws of your body it's no longer legal it's it's officially a crime invasion harassment lies theft uh, rape murder uh, embezzlement scams uh, there's several things you know like illegal force and false imprisonment uh, discrimination uh, greed, uh, traitorism, betraying your country, betraying, um, just lots of things, betraying anyone's rights under the federal law, and these are all the things that we do in the United States, this is what most modern people honestly don't give a crap about, they don't care about federal law, they don't even, they don't care about geometrical vectors, they don't care about medical malpractice, or a, a group of uh, criminal um, people in, working in an institution, or uh, criminal attorneys that uh, are, are criminal themselves, or criminal judges uh, de denying the right to law, or um, not having any attorneys in a community, rogue communities, rogue court systems. Rogue presidents, rogue, rogue militaries. Yeah, it's just really anything that's rogue nowadays, criminal or rogue, you don't want to deal with any of this. These people, God, they're murderers. They do, they find ways to murder people who are innocent. They don't even care if you're innocent or guilty, they just try to kill. This is what they're doing nowadays. Look, they don't care about the truth at all. They've created nothing but fiction all over the earth. This is where the demons and the magic come in. This is what they've been doing is blasting demons everywhere out their exhaust pipes as they rev up their big nasty vehicles and drive by and spew demonic so everywhere. I mean, honestly, whether they believe in God or religion or any of this, it's demonic so they just they live for it, you know? It's, it's something they have with their Cheerios, a nice little uh, satanic demon that tries to uh, 
basically uh, cook up their flesh from the inside. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to these people anymore. They're straight satanic. And the queers, they are mind-blowing. The queers in America, God, there's so many queers. Oh, God, keep, stay away from me, queer. I do not want you in my life. God, I hate queerdom. Oh, my God, stay away from me. I am not gay. I'm not transgender. I don't care about this, you sick bastards. Stay away from me, child molesting freaks. Oh, you're sick. Uh, and then what, all the things that you try to do in your life to try to get with somebody... And in these Cracker Jack buildings, your demonic molestation and invasions and shit. Nah, you ain't cool, dude. You stay away from me, queer. I ain't cool with you. I don't have to support you. I refuse to support you. Okay, I'm not supporting queers. I don't care if you anyone likes it or not. And that's what they are, queers. I don't care for them. They don't like me and I don't like them. That's just the bottom line. Anybody who treats... You like shit at all. It doesn't matter who they are. If you, if that's how they want to behave, that's how they want to act based on fiction, things that aren't true, lies that can't be conceived, and they want to create those things that are things that probably should have never existed, I don't think so. That's fiction. Yeah, we work by the way of evidence in the United States. We don't, we don't work by the way of false religion and fake demonism and magic and queer spirits and Satan and God and all that. We don't work like that in the United States. That's not the federal law. We shall not respect any establishment whatsoever of any fag religion or any fucking queer homo, uh, fake-ass Muslim religion or any religion. The United States does not support religion. We don't have to and never will we if we do not want to. Okay, but if you do support a religion, it doesn't matter. It's not the federal law. It's never going to be. And there will be an uprising against your religion. Because we don't support religion. We support the law, not religion. Law is much grander than religion. Sorry, it just is. Okay? And actually, law can be better than God could ever be. There will be many times... Like it says in the Bible, God said many of your Christians will be cast into prison. You won't get out. Because you'll be tried to see if God can get you out of prison. And you will not get out. You'll die in there. Because you're a Christian. Because you're a Muslim. You believe in God, you'll die in prison. Because you will not teach this to people. Or a bunch of people in the world that you're, you're of God or anything like this. Because you're not. Okay, you're just not godly. You're a human being, you need to go away. Otherwise, you're an alien. And your God is something that's just an alien. It's not really a God, it's just evil. Something that was a delusion called, that called itself a God, or people called it a God. There's a historical delusion. No, I'm sorry, there's no God. Just get over it. Stupid aliens with some kind of force, power, magic. Something that comes from particles. That's all that it is. Other than that, that's about all you can do for it, man. Woman, child. Sorry, I don't care if you like it. Law's law. There's no God. There's no magic. There's no spirits. There's no soul. And if there are, go ahead. Prove it. Okay? I'm not, I, I'd, I'd be willing to see this if you could actually prove it for a fact. To understand what it is and to make a measurement of it and call it accurate, yeah, I'd like to see all this. But however, I'm not saying you're lying about spirits or demons or magic or any of that, but I'm going to tell you it's not God, it's evil and it probably comes from aliens. So however, we, there's still physical law and the law of the human life, the law of our bodies, the law of our people, the law that pertains to keeping things in check, you know, computer science, physics, chemistry, biology, that's all law. Earth science, the sun, you know, doesn't matter what you want to, want to say, that's geometrical vectors. That's what you're going to do, that's, that's what science is. Science, law, same thing. Okay, law, science, and science is law, they both work together. Sorry, that's just how it is. Sorry. 
If you're religious, you're an idiot. Dude, seriously. You religious people are stupid fucking pig. But, aside from that, reality sets in, and you're still just physical. 